Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Football Family Feuds and we're both, all of us are smiling. We had a great 4-1 win against Southampton today and even his lot of luck won. But Agent Louise, you didn't read a memo. When we said score for Arsenal, we didn't mean score at your end, we said score an own goal. So you know, come on, next time it's got to be an own goal. Okay, so what about your games, then? Elijah, you saw some highlights, didn't you? What was this goal like? It's like a header, like, like mm -hmm. it's like a light head, like, see you. Yeah. Was it in the corner? Yeah, like at the bottom. The yeah, but he, he jumped high for it. Oh, uh, okay. No, he didn't jump high. Yeah, he did, he did. Any other chances? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, no, yeah, Abamia. Abamia. What about um, Bournemouth? Did they have any? Oh, do you like a free kick? Like, sort of. Was it saved or was it? No, it's just it's wide. wide. Okay, but. Like, Oh, yeah. It's for yeah. All right, enough of Arsenal. Let's get on down to the real stuff. Yeah, let's get down to the big, the big, the actual <laughs> uh, big club. Yeah. So, Chelsea, another great away win. We beat Wolves 5-2, didn't we? And then we beat Southampton 4-1. We're starting to score loads of goals away from home now, which is good. But, Zane, I thought for the first 10 minutes, Southampton were the better team, weren't they? They, were, they had the better chances. Yeah. And the goal we scored was against the run of play. Um, when Tammy Abraham lobbed it over, I knew that um, it was a goal. So I, it went, so I was cheering before he even went, because you could see it went over the line anyway. So I said to you, Zane, goal, because you said he cleared it. Remember, you said he, he thought he cleared it, you, the defender. But I said, look, it's a goal, it's a goal. So obviously, um, what is it, goal line technology, well done. So you... We got goal line technology never gets it wrong. It never gets it wrong, that's it. It's it? not like VAR. Exactly, exactly. We'll talk about VAR another day, Liverpool. <clears throat> but talk, go back to VAR. There was a, I saw an incident on your game, Elijah. I think it was Pepe. Someone on Twitter showed Pepe who got fouled. For me, that was a worse challenge than the Mane one yesterday. And, and, and VAR. And everything. The thing is, VAR reviewed it and they didn't give it. A touch of a feather. A touch of a feather is worse than the foul that. What happened to Marnie? That's, that's, that's a joke. So it's obvious, it's clear that um, the FA want Liverpool to win the league this season. With Manchester City losing today anyway, they don't need any help. So um, we'd have to emigrate, leave the country if Liverpool ever win it. But anyway, back to our match. Yeah, so I said that goal was scored totally against the run of play. Yeah, was that a good goal though, wasn't it? Yeah. And once again, um, Callum Hudson Adoy. I think it was kind of Tammy Abraham just it was probably like a kind of a chance. Yeah, good ball by Callum Hudson Adoy. And you know, Callum Hudson Adoy's played one and a half matches and he's, he's already got more assists than um, one and a half. No. Yeah, he just came on. Remember, he came off the bench last week against Brighton and then he obviously played today. And not even one and a half because he didn't even finish the game and he's already got more assists than Pepe. So, and a lot of people, a lot of Chelsea fans wanted Pepe. To, um, at Chelsea, and they were upset when he went to Arsenal. But see, Callum Hudson Doyle's. Yeah, Bamian. Oh, yeah, Bamian was really good player. <laughs> no, Bamian's a good player. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, um, after that, we were comfortable, weren't we? We were one nil. Then Mason Mount, another one. William, I've got to give him a, a clap. He, yeah, he did well today, didn't he? So he assisted. William assisted today for Mason Mount, and it's a good finish. But what I like to say about Mason Mount is that he made that because it was his pressing what led to Southampton turning over the um, ball, and it was a good pass by William to uh, uh, for Mason Mount to put us in the lead. And we were comfortable, weren't we, Zane? At yeah, that stage, yeah. He like he did what I would do in that situation, <laughs> just like. No, it's just toe punt it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not. Not really a toe punt, it's a good finish. It's yeah, it was a toe punt. Like, I know, it's just mm. because he knew the goalkeeper was there and he was going to die, but he wouldn't be able to get it, so yeah. Yeah, he, he bided his time before a good finish. But then he should have actually put us 3 0 up, shouldn't he? Because uh, who was it he passed it to him? Was it William again who passed it to him? Or no, it was Hudson Adoy, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, Hudson Adoy passed it to him. And he was trying to hit it first time into the corner, and miss hit the shot altogether, and miscued it, and it went. And I said, "Hope we don't regret this because we were very comfortable at that stage." Oh, that makes him out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nearly, he could have went for a throw in a bit cold even more. Yeah, yeah. But then we were made to pay, weren't we? Because um, the it's right good. back from Southampton went back, and he he just went through our defence like they weren't there. He just and. Our defence, I I sent out a tweet earlier and I said, back in the day when we had the likes of John Terry and Cavallo and Galas and people like that, 
I didn't. But that's what I can I just felt so comfortable when we were defending the one goal lead because I said once we went one goal up, it was hard for the op opposition to get back. No matter what they threw at us, we had a solid defence and I always felt that we were going to hold on. But nowadays, every time a team attacks us, we're a nervous wreck. But we, to be fair to the boys though, in the second half, uh, we didn't give them a, a chance, did we? We didn't give them a sniff. Tamori had a couple of dodgy moments again today, so he's still learning. He needs to learn when to play out from the back and when to boot the ball into Rose Ed because he nearly put us into a couple of what are you doing, Roger? He nearly put us in a couple of tricky situations. Tamori. Yeah, yeah, Tamori, yeah. So once they went back to two one, it started it was very nervy for a little while because that gave him a bit more confidence, didn't it? And they sort of came back into the game. Yeah, but that's what I said, they still have scored that goal. Exactly. It did give them a lot of confidence. To only go on and do worse. Yeah, but then, Ongolo Kanto, he's, he's, he's missed the goal scorer nowadays, isn't he? Yeah, he never yeah. used to score. And that's what I'm saying, a lot of people say he's a defensive midfielder. He's more than that, he's a box-to-box -box midfielder. He can do no, a bit of everything. Kanto. Kanto, yeah, he oh. can do a bit of both, yeah. So, he's like in the middle. Yeah, exactly. And, but he, you know, he specialised... Last season, yeah, he specialised in defending, but then he, he grew, he grew, and then he like, learned how to score. Even more, you know? Exactly. So, you know, we criticise Sari for a lot of things, but um, Sari saw that he can he added more to his game than just um, a sit-in midfielder, and he gave him a bit more licence to go forward. So, you know, we've got to give Sari a bit of credit as well for that. So, so well done. And, um, yeah, so I think Kante could finish with five or six goals this season. Um, and 3-1 made us a lot more comfortable, didn't it? So we went back. I thought in the second half, we controlled the game, didn't we? Because they didn't really have any chances in the second half. And we were just... We had them at arm's length and there was no way that they were going to get back into the game. Um, and what did I say saying for substitutions? What, what, are my, what were my two predictions? You said that I said only should come off. Mm -hmm. Mason Mark should come on. Off. Because he was already Oh, on. yeah, off, yeah. yeah. And Pujic should come on. Yeah. And um, I think to come off. Kovacic. Kovacic to come on. You said Kovacic to go, come on. Yeah. And I think... So, I was thinking like our manager today. So, the two substitutes I called and the two players I said should come off, that's what happened. Wait, who came off? Hudson and Mason Mount. and Mason Mount came off of Pulisic and Kovacic. And, Kovacic. and it worked. At, and then later on, Tammy Abraham, who was tiring a bit, came off and Batshuayi came on. And I thought, because a lot of people are talking about Pulisic and he's not getting a game time. Today he came on and he did well, didn't he? He showed a, he, he was the one who made the goal for Bat, Batman, Batshuayi. And he, he had another a Batman, couple of, he had a couple of other good um, attempts. So, so he's, that's what you need to do Pulisic if you want to come into the side more consistently. You've got to come on, make an impression and try and work your way into the team. So your time will come, but as I said in my, that talking points video we did today, and I'll put it up on the um, card above, but you just need to be more patient and you know, you'll gradually, you'll gradually get into the side. So um, yeah, great performance all round by the boys. Another excellent away win. And at the beginning of the season, a lot of people were saying Chelsea are gonna to struggle to get top four, but Looking at it, I think both our mobs can get into the top four, Chelsea and Arsenal, because Manchester United are just, they'll be worried more about relegation than they're in the top four. And Tottenham season. as well. And Tottenham are a mess at the minute. I don't know what's going on at Tottenham. Who's the highest they can get is? Yeah, I don't know what's happening at Tottenham at the moment, but those both those teams are, are not great. Leicester are probably our biggest, um, biggest threat for top four, because I think they're a good balanced side, so... Whether they have the longevity, if they have a couple of injuries, whether they will um, start to drop down the table. I can't see West Ham, people are saying West Ham, I can't see West Ham or Crystal Palace or any of those teams retaining. So I think it's it's out of, even be careful because the way Man City are playing as well, you know. But no, I'm, not, I'm just joking about Man City because I know that it's just <laughs> a little blip and they will they will go on a run at some so, point. So what do you think the top four should be used? Um, I think mm. the top four are going to be, unfortunately, I think Liverpool are going to win the league this season. Manchester City probably runners up and it's either, it's between Chelsea and Arsenal for third and fourth. I'm not sure what position. So I say Chelsea, Arsenal, third and fourth with maybe Leicester threatening the top four. So that's my prediction. What about uh, top six? Europa League? Um, 
Tottenham probably go be back where they belong in the Europa League. <laughs> and maybe someone like West Ham may surprise us and get into the Europa League as well this season. What about Leicester? No, Leicester. You said Leicester would be. Oh, Leicester sorry. Leicester. Yeah, so Leicester, obviously. Leicester would definitely. Leicester and Tottenham? Yeah, Leicester and Tottenham, maybe, and West Ham just outside. Yeah. But three teams could be. Yeah, three teams could be in it if, if, if some, other, some of the top teams win the league or something. What about or win, you? win the FA Cup. I can't see it with Manchester United. I can't see it. I can't. I can see many at the best finishing seventh or eighth. I can see Tottenham at the best finishing. Yeah, I could be wrong because there's a lot of twists and turns to go in the season, and for all, all my joking about Tottenham, they're only three points behind us. So, Hi. Um, and with Chelsea this season, although it, we're showing signs of improvement, because we're a young side, there will be mistakes along the way, and there will be some other um, dodgy results. It's going to be bumpy. So. I'm not getting carried away. With I reckon we might lose to West Ham. Uh, possible, but I'm saying nowadays you can't say any no no games are gimme in this league. So we just have to keep working hard under Frank, keep progressing, and uh, we'll see. So up the Blues, well done Chelsea. Begrudgingly, well done Arsenal as well. So um, it's, we're now in the international break. When we get back, we play the Newcastle at home. I think, yeah, I think we play Newcastle, we just beat Manchester what, United. What happened to Man United? Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know who Arsenal are playing, I'm not sure. But yeah, so oh. let's see how Tammy Abraham, Tamori and Mason Mount do for England. And here's hoping them all the best. And we'll see you on our next video. So don't forget to like, subscribe, subscribe turn on all post notifications so you get notified notice. for everything, like, every single video that we post. If I comment down below, um... Yeah, like what they say. Alright, okay. Take care everyone. Enjoy your week.